So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number, let's just leave that for the moment, but it is the Stoke City career mode. So guys, basically what have I done is the question you're going to be asking, why am I uploading this? Basically this is my, remember when we done the Stoke City career mode ages ago on the PS4? It was the first career mode I did on the PS4 and it was very, very popular because recently I've had no internet whatsoever at home so therefore I haven't been able to play on Ultimate Team and I've had to play on career mode and what I've been doing, I've just been playing on this Stoke City career mode just playing and playing and playing and I've completed another four or five seasons I'm not really sure how many seasons I've completed but I've completed quite a lot of seasons with this Stoke City team and as you guys can remember from the, the side that we had before it was nothing special the only good player we had was Batshayi, who was 79 rated. But as you can see, from the side we're here, we do have, after a lot of hard work and um, time playing, we have built a very, very good squad with this side. We've got a Naltovic, we've got uh, Anthony Marshall, who hits the post right on the early stage of this game. We've got Luis Muriel. Uh, we've got uh, Januzaj, who's 84 rated. We've got Fabian Schaar, 85 rated. We've got Eric Dier, who's 80, uh, 79 rated, I think. Uh, Naltovic is still 78 rated at the moment. But um, we do have Draxler as well, 85 rated. Um, we've got Jonathan Dos Santos, 80 rated. And um, as you see here, Draxler goes through and has a very good shot, but pulls off a wonderful save from Joel Robles. But basically, why have I uploaded this? Um, the reason why I've uploaded this is because since I've had no internet, I've had lots of time to think. And um, because obviously without internet, there's not much you can really do. I haven't been able to upload videos for you guys because I haven't had the internet. But what I, I still haven't got internet at the moment. But what I have decided that I wanted to do was to try and get videos out to you guys. And I will go to a friend's house to upload them. That's what I'm going to try and do. That's the plan for the time being. But even on the bench, we have like Mark Muniesu who's gone up to 76 rated. Now we've got uh, Danny Ing 77 rated. We've got Cork 76 rated. So a lot of the players that we have got. We also got uh, Angel Correa who's um 82 rated, uh, 78 rated. Sorry, we've got just got such a very good squad compared to what we did have. But in the dying stage of here, they do actually get one back, and um, it was now 1-1. We do actually have Hugo Joris in goal as well. We did have Fraser Forster, we sold him. Um, the players that we did have, the big players, were Fraser Forster, we sold him, and we also had Iyad Ramendi, uh, 82 rated from Real Madrid. So we did have some good players, to be honest, but then we ended up selling them and getting this very, very good uh, potential squad here. But um, straight after this, as you can see here, we do actually go ahead and win this game 2-1 as Muriel, with a lovely Ronaldo chop, sprints past Gibson, and finds the bottom corner amazingly well I don't know how he managed to score from there but he, thankfully he does and I was very very pleased there but um, yes the reason why I've uploaded this is because I have seen that you guys really did enjoy this because I've been using the internet on my phone and um, nearly every episode has got over 500 views and that is just insane and I'd really want to take this moment here to thank you guys for and I've I'm I'm actually sorry, why did I stop it? I'm not really sure why I stopped doing the career mode. If you guys are enjoying it so much, I don't know why I stopped. But, um, so basically, I don't I, I don't really know what to call this at the moment, because I think we're in 2016, so we're quite a long way down the line, to be honest. But um, I just thought, why not, as FIFA 14 has been coming to an end, why not try and mix things up and just advance, because I, I haven't, I didn't actually sim the game, I actually played all of them. Um, and I have actually had, I'm still the manager of Portugal as well and um, we did actually win the Euro 2016, yeah 2016 we actually won so very pleased to be honest, I, I thought I'd done really well with the squad and I think I've done pretty well to actually build up a squad that are pretty strong so therefore what I decided was to try and try something different, I've never done this before, but to try and upload these videos now as a career mode, I'll try and do a season with these and maybe more, or maybe you guys say, yeah, can you play the important games but sim the not so important games, uh, so maybe I'll just play, when I, I'll play the teams in the top half of the league and not the ones in the bottom half of the league, if you know what I mean. But basically, you guys can decide that, and maybe you guys just think, what the hell is this idiot doing? Why has he decided to start doing this? I don't want to see this. And if you think that, please don't be afraid to let me know. I'd really want you to speak out your thoughts. If you don't like it, let me know. If you like it, also let me know, because then I'll know I'm doing something right. Um, I, all I'm trying to do is trying to get views and subscribers. Um, 
it, it, that is the main the main thing of YouTube is to try and build a solid channel with loyal subscribers that watch your videos, like them, comment on them, and basically make YouTube enjoyable. YouTube is still enjoyable, but still, when you don't get the views on the videos, it is a little bit disheartening. When you go into the video manager and you see 30 views, 40 views, even 50 views, it's just it's just like why have I just wasted all my time making these videos and no one's appreciating them so basically I have gone through this and I have very thought really hard about this and I'm not I'm still not sure whether YouTube is still the right thing for me whether you guys still want me to continue but I just thought I'm gonna try and mix things up try and bring something new to the channel and if it works then I'll be absolutely delighted if this suddenly picks up and we start getting the 200, 300 views on each video that is basically my main aim and that is what I'd really my ambition and dream is to eventually have something like that and you guys are the only ones that can actually help me do that so I really do hope you guys are actually going to enjoy this I don't really know how to call it we'll probably say uh, the Stoke career mode number 50 or maybe start from 50 and go upwards or maybe I think we'll just start from 100 so this will be episode number 100 so therefore you can keep track of it easy so this is will be the Stoke crew mode episode number 100 if you guys agree with everything I'm doing as you see it was very poor performance from us here we were actually winning 2-0 um, and we just went to pot and lost 3-2 against QPR at Loftus Road so a little bit disappointing there we didn't actually win that but Hugo Yorish did make a good save there but unfortunately no one was um, actually trying to get the rebound but that is actually going to be we're coming towards the end of this episode now. We actually end up selling Jack Cork for 3.5 million. But basically, I really want you guys to watch the videos and enjoy them. And therefore, it, it gives you enjoyment, it gives me enjoyment, and we're all happy in the end. So if you want to continue seeing this series, I hope it's something new and I hope it's something that you're going to like. Please hit that like button and comment down below. And another episode of this will probably be out later today or maybe even tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.